only a matter of hours between Kathy Griffin posting the disturbing images and the apology, but it is clear this morning that there are a lot of people not in a forgiving mood. And again today, the comedian is dealing with the aftermath of what she now describes as a mistake. A warning to our viewers, the images are graphic. Tyler and I are not afraid to do images that make noise. This morning, Kathy Griffin finds herself out of a job. Even after apologizing for her photo shoot gone viral. I sincerely apologize. The image of the comedian holding the bloodied likeness of President Trump's head was instantly condemned online. I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far. I made a mistake and I was wrong. That's how this guy works. The glasses come up. He's like CNN still ended its agreement with Griffin. Oops. Are you kidding? She won't be hosting this year's New Year's Eve special. <laughs> Ending a decade run on the job. But first, I'm an artist. The comedian said the photo shoot intended to mock President Trump. Drop it. But there was a nearly universal consensus that the 56 year old had crossed a line. The First Lady writing in a statement As a mother, a wife, and a human being, that photo is very disturbing. It makes you wonder about the mental health of the person who did it. <laughs> Chelsea Clinton had this to say on The View. <laughs> I used to agree that it's never funny to joke about violence toward anyone. Yeah. Um, and particularly in this politically charged moment yeah. Yeah. toward our president. Democratic Senator Al Franken, a fellow comedian, was not ready to pull the plug on an appearance with Griffin this summer. But he was still critical. And, uh, she did make a very heartfelt, fulsome apology. I think she was thinking she was making some artistic statement, but that image has no place in our political dialogue. There have been questions raised about how the Secret Service should handle all of this. The agency has to look into any possible threat to the president, um, and that would likely include interviewing Griffin, but the Secret Service is not commenting on the status of the inquiry at this point. Okay, Stephanie, thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.